Greetings and salutations. I am back down the shed uh, with my co-host, the pool pump, but I'm not staying here for long because it's hot as hell. I've just put my laundry out. I'm absolutely knackered. I've done four events in the last nine days and oh, I'm, I'm, I'm buggered. I'm making this video because I've really have been through my backlog of uh, shed videos and I want to try and get some things out. I'm still working on the latest blog. I'll be honest, I'm not really knowing if this is one's going to work or not. So eh, I'm definitely thinking about doing a video on um, failure is always an option. But the reason I came down here is if you recall the video where I did all the boot polishing on these suckers, I really wanted to give an update on this because uh, on last Friday, I was at the person who dressed as Mario and, okay, just a quick aside. One thing sometimes when you're dealing with uh, small kids is what you really want to do is get down to their level and talk to them at least as much as possible on their level. You know, it can be a bit daunting looking up to this Big figure, especially a big tall person and big, 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 I'm stuck in an endless loop. And a big tall person like me, it can come across a little bit intimidating. So one of the tricks is to get down on a knee and engage with them on a more even level. Especially if you're going to get photos taken. If you're a big tall person and the kid is like down towards your groin area, you take your knee, get down there, take a photo, photo with them. It looks better, they'll cherish it more, things like that. So anyway, that's kind of why my knees are a little bit buggered at the moment, just constantly getting up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. And also, you know, doing all the Hagrid stuff, that was killing my legs as well. I was really hesitant to, you know, start doing that with these shoes because I was like, holy crap, they're going to get scratched because they're going to be doing it on brick surfaces, concretes, all that type of stuff. That's the uh, the boot that ran flat to the ground. There's a little bit of scruffage there, that's fine. And I was worried that this, you know, this is gonna undo all my hard work. So as a comparison, that's what an unscratched boot looks like. These are steel toe cap as well. So I want, I'll, I love steel toe caps. Uh, it, keep, it maintains the shape, especially for like some of the Mario boot where it's got this like knobbly kind of boot to it and it gives some protection, especially against kids, and also uh, against the ground. So I'm happy to report that this is the shoe that I kept knocking on my toe. You know, it's rubbed off the bit on the front here, but it's actually uh, maintained its stain inch quite well on the toe where the steel cap is. So I'm quite impressed with this technique. Um, I, all I really need to do is if I want to, probably not gonna be that bothered now but maybe in the future all i really need to do is just hit hit it with a bit of boot polish and go over it again and that's it that is well good i mean you gotta remember that that was the color never mind the texture that was the color i'm really really happy about that so where am i gonna go from here i won't say i'm getting burnt out on the mech list but i'm thinking you know that's gonna get content that's gonna get boring soon even though i'm using it to demonstrate different things i want to mix it up again. Look, I really enjoy doing the Ghostbusters stuff. Maybe I can do more of that. I don't know. I've, I've got to figure out when the next builds up because I finished my Mario upgrade. I finished my Ralph upgrade. That's also took a lot out of me. When I've not been studying it, I've not been costuming, I've been making bloody coveralls for like Ralph and shirts and stuff like that. So I'm really knackered. So I don't know what's going on. Um, you know, keep you know, these blogs might start slowing down as I'm trying to work out what I'm going to do next. So yeah, if you've got any ideas or techniques you want me to explore or to demonstrate or even just a primer on certain things like, um, you know, maybe I can expand a bit more on airbrushing and stuff like that. Let me know. Uh, please comment uh, below, like, share, subscribe, all the other usual bullshit. Or if you want to see me do something with a mech left, like you know, giving an interesting paint job, especially if you want to buy it off me. I mean, I could do a little thing on, you know, filling up with wood and putty and stuff like that. But yeah, that's a lot of that's kind of really self-evident. But if you want something like that, let me know. Apart from that, um, I'm going to go rest up uh, as much as I can because I'm going to try and do a bit of editing. I, I just done a whole ton of uh, photos for the for the purse allied costumers uh, page from Friday so yeah that was <laughs> that killed the rest of my Saturday night so yeah I'm absolutely knackered and I'm still being productive just not the much I can really show on screen anyway uh, I'll talk to you guys later